Hi, this is my June book haul. I feel like June has been going on for forever because I've just gathered so many books this month. Not quite sure where to start, so you might want to make yourself a cup of tea. First of all, Penguin sent me the new edition of Wreck This Journal, which is a, a small edition, so it's good for on the go. If you want to see me do another Wreck This Journal video, let me know in the comments because I'm definitely up for doing one. And to continue with the smaller books, I have The Unknown Unknown by Mark Forsyth. It has a subtitle title of Bookshops and the Delight of Not Getting What You Wanted. This is kind of an essay which was written for the Independent Booksellers Week, which I'm going to tell you a little bit more about later. Then two weeks ago I went to Alcaf, which is a small festival for like comics and things like that, and I got three things. First of all, I met Isabel Greenberg, who's the author of the Encyclopedia of Early Earth, and she was selling these little books. This one is called Rights, Customs, and the Histories of the Great Empire of Migdal Bavel, and it's basically some extra backstory to the Encyclopedia of Early Earth with, of course, beautiful illustrations. Then I also got Cardigan Heart by Lizzie Stewart. I had been looking at some of her art online and then when she discovered she was at Alcaf, I decided to pick up one of her little booklets. I always find it really hard to explain what this is. It's just filled with pictures and like diary entries and little stories. And then my friend Maddie, who you might know as Individual Maddie, and she also has an amazing Tumblr with her artwork, which I'll put in the description. She had this called hunch when I ran into her and bought a copy. It has such such gorgeous artwork and also no text. I'm probably gonna read all three of these in one sitting. Okay so this book was sent to me by Headline and it's called The Lemon Grove by Helen Walsh. It's about a group of people who always kind of go to the same place every summer for their vacation and this year there is some intrigue. I haven't seen this book everywhere so I was kind of curious. Apparently this is a slinky sultry seductress of a novel. Then I bought a book based on the recommendation of one of my friends, Clarissa, and it is hashtag girl boss because I'm reading Lean In right now and I'm absolutely loving it and uh, she said that this would be another really good book to read. It is written by Sophia Maruso who is the founder and CEO of Nasty Gal and I think this is just the story of her success. And then we have Everyday Sexism by Laura Bates. This I think is going to be a very very important book. I don't know if you guys follow Everyday Sexism on Twitter. It's such a depressing Twitter account but it just makes you aware of everything that's going on. The dedication of this book is this book is dedicated to every woman who raised her voice and made the world listen. It's about sexism and street harassment and there's just lots and lots of stories from women. Then we're gonna go back into fiction. This is a book I requested from Hotter and it is called Lagoon and it is about three people that are kind of thrown together in a situation where a meteor slams into earth and causes this huge wave. I think it goes a little bit into the sci-fi territory as well. The description kind of reminds me of Player One by Douglas Kuplin where there's also a bunch of people that are stuck in an airport bar together because, you know, outside the end of the world is happening. The next book is called The Supernatural Enhancements by Edgar Cantero, which I got from Del Rey, which is an imprint of a random house. So this is kind of similar to House of Leaves. I don't know if you've read that one. It's a little bit insane. It's a collection of notes and letters and chat logs and, and interviews and other documents. And it is about a sort of haunted house and the people that end up living in there who are then trying to uncover the mystery of the house. Then I got some books from The Book People, who are an online retailer, which I'll put in the description. And it is this set. They do a lot of sets of books on their website. I had never really heard of this before. The author is Barbara Comines. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I think they're all quite different because this one seems to be a gothic -y, which is called The Vet's Daughter. And then there is Our Spoons Came From Woolworths. And then finally, Sisters by the River. They all seem kind of magical in a different way, if that makes sense. When I Google this, I just found so many amazing reviews and the quotes on the covers are really good as well. So we'll see what I think of them. And this book was sent to me by Icon Books and it is called Harry's Last Stand. First of all, I really, really like this cover. The book is written by Harry Leslie Smith. It's about how he lived through the Great Depression and the Second World War and is now 91 years old and it's his view of our society. And then finally, I went to the new foils, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Don't worry if you don't 
don't live in London, I will take you guys there soon. The first book I bought is The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells, the beautiful Penguin English Library edition. I am slowly collecting lots and lots of H.G. Wells. I love The First Man in the Moon and The War of the Worlds is a classic that I really want to read. Whenever I go to bookshops, I like to pick up books that I've never heard of before. So I bought Viper Wine by an author with the most amazing name, Hermione Eyre. Now obviously what initially attracted me to this book is this amazing cover. So this book takes place in 1632 at the court of Charles I and there's this thing going around called Viper Wine which is supposed to be a beauty tonic that more and more people are taking. So lots and lots of intrigue at the court. So that was my haul but this video isn't quite over yet because I have something exciting to tell you guys about. On Saturday July 5th there will be a bookshop crawl in England and this is to kind of celebrate Independent Booksellers Week. And the thing is all these independent bookshops will have stickers and the goal is to go to as many bookshops as possible on July 5th and gather all your stickers and obviously buy some books. Then you can tweet or Instagram pictures, do a blog post or make a video of the day using the hashtag bookshop crawl and if you have documented your bookshop crawl you can send it into an email address that I'll put in the description and if you do that before midnight GMT on Sunday July 6th you also have a chance to win 50 pounds of book vouchers and the complete adult and Children's Independent Booksellers Week Book Awards shortlist. There is a lovely icon that you can use, which you can see right here. If you are participating, you can put it on your blog or your Twitter, etc. Of course, there is a Tumblr that you can follow, which will be posting updates, which I'll put in the description as well. So I hope that a lot of you will join the bookshop crawl and uh, maybe I'll bump into one of you guys. I hope you enjoyed my June book haul. In the comments, you can let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Doei!